to take back his city from Islamic State, 17-year-old Suleiman says he's prepared to die. The teenager crossed into Turkey as a refugee with his family last week. Today he was trying to get back into his home country, but border patrols were restricting the flow of Syrians returning. As he waited, Suleiman told me why he and so many young men would now happily risk their lives. He said, I want to go to fight Islamic State to protect my family and our land. This is the first time I have ever gone to fight them. IS shoot and cut heads. It's not the world we want to have. The numbers pouring out of Syria seeking refuge continues to climb. They're fleeing IS, but fear the US airstrikes too. Some, like 24-year-old Omar, want Britain and other countries to do even more. He too was heading back to Syria to fight. We're calling on the whole world, he told me. We need the weapons, of course we need food, but we need weapons for protection. Islamic State is a war for all the world. In one year, IS could attack your country. But Suleiman stressed they need more help than America and possibly Britain can give. We need other countries, he said. Thank you to the United States for airstrikes, but Islamic State are still coming here and getting closer to us. His home city, Kobani, is on the border and on the verge of being completely captured by IS. Suleiman says that prospect is unthinkable for him and his family. We watched as he was eventually allowed to cross back into Syria. Just a few weeks ago, he was working as a mechanic. Now Suleiman says his job is to fight IS, even if it costs him his life.